Hey y'all, this is Tarot Card Bay. What's up, Leos? I'm about to do your general reading for March. Please keep in mind, this is a new channel, so it's really important that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. God, universe. message do we have for Leo's? Leo, you just... Cards came out the easiest for you so far from all the readings I've done. Give me another card for Leo. You see, we got some power, Leo. We got the tower. Got two of cups. Six of wands in reverse. Emperor. A lot of the similar energy in these readings. I'll move it a bit over. What do we got for Leo? March. Another card for Leo. March. General reading. So I feel like you're kind of all over the place, bro. Or sis. We got a tower. So something happened in the recent past, which, of course, recent past could be yesterday. You know how time works when it comes to tarot. But there was a crash in foundation in the recent past, which led to the six of wands in reverse. Or you feeling like there is no victory. As we all know with the tower, the crumbling of the tower has to happen. It's not always bad, but even when it is bad, it is mandatory. Because if not, it wouldn't happen. We all know in the universe, with God, spirit, whatever you believe in, um, things happen for a reason. So the foundation that you had prior fell apart, and it does look like love. Clarify the tower with the lovers in reverse. So you had a falling out with someone. A disconnection. And it does seem like it was a union. Here. The emperor just makes me think that Leo, you are... You're standing in your power, of course. Um, you are focused on yourself. That's the vibe that I'm getting from that card. And you refuse to fall apart based on this past that happened. And of course, it had to be painful if you have the lovers in reverse with the tower, which led to this lack of victory. What happened? What happened with Leo and... Leo's connection, of course, this is a general reading. This is not love, but love keeps coming out. So we got to talk about it. What happened with this Two of Cups? Three of Cups. What happened to make this tower fall? What happened to make this tower fall? What happened to make this tower fall? Come oh, on, Leo. So the page of swords have tried to come out a few times. So are you guys watching each other, Leo? There's some spying going on. Give me a card for Leo. Why did this not work out? Well, we know that. Heartbreak. It kind of seems like maybe this didn't work out because there was a one of the people in this connection couldn't get over some stuff that happened in the past. Give me a card for heartbreak. 
Seven of Swords. It seems like it's some past energy. Not what happened in the most recent past, but Leo, whatever happened in either your past or the person that you're um, connecting with. And we do have the Queen of Swords that came out. So, of course, it could be an air sign. We have the Emperor. It could be an Aries. Um, or that could be you because you are a fire sign. So, your energy. Something definitely took place that included some sneaky ass behavior. You ain't got to lie, Craig. That's what I just got in my head. So clearly, with the Three of Cups, as we saw, there was some shiesty behavior going on. It seems like it was a mixture of one person not being able to move on from the heartbreaks of the past and the other person not being fully honest. What wasn't, what was the lie? Hmm. What was the lie for Leo? What are we sneaking about? What is the lie? Lies about the Queen of Wands. I tell you, goodness, Queen of Wands has been... Lord have mercy, she just keeps popping out. Every reading I've had, I believe, the Queen of Wands has popped out. It's crazy. So you, somebody's holding on to a Queen of Wands. And this is what caused this disconnect, this disconnection. So the Queen of Wands is not the person that you are connecting with in the lovers. The Queen of Wands is what caused the heartbreak, Leo. So you know, if you are chasing a Queen of Wands, the result of that is the Ace of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this Queen of Pentacles is a, another person. This is the person from the Lover's card that you kind of have failed to make things work with, but it's not because of anything the Queen of Pentacles done. It's just because you can't let go of the past, which includes this Queen of Wands that you're still holding on to. What happened between Leo and the Queen of Wands? And of course, yes, Queen of Wands could be Leo, but that is not how I'm picking it up. I'm picking it up. The Queen of Wands is another woman who has created conflict in the connection between Queen of Pentacles and yourself, Leo. So what happened between you and the Queen of Wands? What happened between you and the Queen of Wands? Mm, you don't want to say, clearly. Oh. The Queen... The King of Pentacles. Okay, so there's too many people here. And if you believe that all these stories connect, as we know in the previous readings, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles has been chasing the Queen of Wands. So it just seems like there's a lot of people involved here. So your interaction, Leo, with this Queen of Wands has caused this Queen of Pentacles to be upside down just because you wanted passion. And the reason why I didn't work with this Queen of Wands is because she's interacting with the King of Pentacles, Leo. So essentially what you've done so far, or what the, what the other person has done, you can flip this, reverse it, do whatever you need to do, is mess up a really good connection where love was here. Because even though the love is in reverse, it was at some point upright. So you guys had a very strong connection, Leo. You had a strong connection with this Queen of Pentacles, but your fascination and the passion that you have for this Queen of Wands has caused an ending and has caused heartbreak to not only yourself, but to this Queen of Pentacles. So this is just a web. What webs do we weave? Like, come on. 
you chasing somebody who's chasing somebody else and Queen of Pentacles is chasing you and everybody's getting hurt and left. That's how it seems. All right, Leo, how do you feel about this Queen of Pentacles that's in reverse? How do you feel about her? How do you feel about this Queen of Pentacles? You don't want to say. Have you told her how you feel? This is how you feel about the Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, which I feel like came out in another reading. So you want to offer commitment, a smaller token of commitment to this Queen of Pentacles. You want to rush to her, but why aren't you? Why are you not rushing to the Queen of Pentacles, Leo? Boy, why are you not rushing to this Queen of Pentacles if you feel this way? Same stuff. Okay. Wow. So you are currently holding back your emotions. You're controlling them when you really want to offer your cup to this Queen of Pentacles. But you need to make a decision to give. You're not putting, you were not putting in effort. You just weren't. Queen of Pentacles got tired of it. Look at the Virgo reading because Virgo was dealing, she wasn't dealing with a fire sign, but she, there was some waiting. Capricorn's been waiting. A lot of signs have been waiting, Leo. So because you did not put effort in this situation that is what's going on that caused the disconnection and we know you weren't putting in effort because you were chasing the queen of wands around what is the future action what is leo's future action i hope that leo i hope you be one of the people who like really are, you know rush and get your person because this is a recurring theme leo what is your future action what are you going to do to make this better and you don't want to say what is your future action the death card tried to come out which is so convenient it's so much easier for people to try to just dead a situation and fix it like do you think love is that easy to come by it's really not and if it was then you and this queen of wands would have worked it out but y'all got some fuckery going on i feel it i feel the anger like what the heck is going on here strength so you're gonna hold back at this point you plan to move to calmer waters. All right. And what about this Queen of Pentacles? Oh, you somebody's spying. So is it the Queen of Pentacles spying? But I'm not sure. That's the third time that that card tried to come out. So there is spying going on, Leo. I don't know if you're watching the Queen of Pentacles, if she's watching you, if she's watching Tarot. You know, I don't know. But there is some spying going on. What about this Queen of Wands? Is she going to go away? Like, are you going to cast her out? Or are you going to keep playing this game with the Queen of Wands? This web. What about the Queen of Wands? Since she's causing conflict, or your obsession with her is calling, causing conflict, we're not going to blame her. We're going to blame you. So, Four of Wands for the Queen. Excuse me, Four of Swords for the Queen of Wands taking a rest. So she's not moving either. She's going into herself. She's trying to make a decision as well because she's dealing with the King of Pentacles. This is a mess. All right. What is the advice? What's Leo's advice? Leo's advice. The hermit, so take some time to go into yourself. 
But also the hermit is a card for Virgo. So of course that, that could certainly mean that the queen of pentacles is a Virgo, um, but also be analytical like a Virgo. Look at the facts, you know, like really take a look at it. You see how intensely the hermit is looking. That's what you need to do before you decide that you're going to end this or before you decide who you want or if you're going to continue with this web. You really need to look at the facts. Step away from your passion. Step away from the fact that you want to smash the Queen of Wands. Haven't you smashed her enough and she's smashing everybody else? Like, step away. And it doesn't make you feel good to chase somebody who don't want you and have somebody who wants you chase you and make her feel like you don't want her. That's too much. That's too much. So um, one more card for the advice. Because I like action cards for advice. Yes, we got the high priestess and the hermit. So yes, it's telling you to go in. But what else? Go within. What else? And make it happen. The magician is my make it happen card. Do the damn thing and, and make this right. I swear I've said that a thousand times today, I believe. So really quickly, let's pull some Oracle cards for this situation. I'm moving fast because I don't want this to be 20 minutes. Give me Oracle cards for this situation. Leo is dealing with a soulmate, maybe two. There's a web of lies, deception, sex, and some trickery. Give me some love. Okay, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of for uh, their other half. And if you don't know what that means, this is the twin flame theory. Plato's twin flame theory. Give me another Oracle card. So of course this could be a twin flame, which makes sense because you had the lovers in reverse, the tower, there's a lot of major arcana that came out. I'm getting some, some chills. So maybe this is a twin flame that you just fucked up with. Um, don't be afraid. To lose someone who doesn't want you, facts, because clearly you're chasing somebody who don't want you. And another one, another one for Leo. Hmm. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. So that Queen of Pentacles calms you, huh? And that fire sign, Queen of Wands, she excites you. But it's, it's a bit toxic. It's a bit toxic and it's a bit one-sided. So you could be dealing with a twin flame. You could be separated from your twin flame. Give me some cards for money. Money, 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 money. Money. Give me some cards for money. How's Leo's money doing? How is Leo's money doing? Now, I don't know if y'all know, and I'm not trying to judge y'all, but Leo's like to spend. Fire signs like to spend money. But Leo's usually are really good at making it, too. All right, so you may be experiencing some type of karma in a, a loss of money due to karma. Maybe it's something you're not taking a look at. There's some money that was lost um, because you didn't have your eyes on it. You're probably too busy chasing the Queen of Wands around. And Justice is here to say whatever you're going through right now is your karma. Financially, love-wise, this is what happens when you leave when you lead with your sexual foot instead of your heart. You're always gonna fail. It feels good in the moment, but that moment don't last. Okay, so you're putting in, oh, your pinnacles, you're putting in work, trying to get your money right. So you can create the life that you want, or is this to give the life that you want to your empress? 
But the thing about it is, if you treated her like you didn't want her, how would she ever know that, unless she's a very intuitive person, which is highly probable with this twin flame dynamic, but Ten of Pentacles, how would she know that that's, this is what you want to give her? How the hell are you going to make this up on top of trying to get your money together? This is a time for you to focus, but come clean. Just like I told Aries, it's something about this Pisces season that's forcing us to hold back. But in reality, you need to come clean. One more card for Leo's money. What does the future look like for Leo's money? Queen of Wands reverse. That's not even about money, but clearly your future should not include this person. And this person clearly is impacting your stability. This situation, this web is causing you to focus on chasing someone or fighting with the Queen of Pentacles or wondering if the Queen of Wands is with the King of Pentacles. And you have all of these pinnacles that you want to give, that you want to build, you want to create. But you're off your square right now. One more card. This is a time for healing. Heal this situation with yourself. Maybe you need to heal it with the Queen of Wands. Like maybe y'all need to come to a sense of uh, closure so you can move a little bit smoother. All right, Leo. Whew. Man, what is going on in the universe? We are all going through very similar things. Sagittarius is up next. Tarot card bay. Holla at your girl.